What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a Detroit Team Deathmatch. I'm um, sorry for Team Deathmatch gameplays. I know you, they're not as entertaining as other game modes, but I've been playing Mosh Pit and all I've been getting is Team Deathmatch. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, I wanted to talk about um, the, what I think of the updates after Advanced Warfare, or of Advanced Warfare that Xbox 360 got on December 11th. It's December 12th now. Um, so... Right now, I am uh, just like I'm thinking back to Ghosts. What happened with Ghosts with me was they, I loved the game at first. Then they updated it and buffed the one the one gun. I forget what it was called. Uh, I don't remember much about Ghosts, but then they buffed that gun and then buffed the um, uh, Remington R7. So. Um, I'm looking up what the gun was called, but it m ruined the game. It made, um, it made me hate the game, uh, and that's kind of how I am right now. Uh, they nerfed my favorite gun in Ghost, and, uh, they, it, it just ruined the game for me. I stopped playing it after they nerfed, or, uh, yeah, nerfed my favorite gun. Um, and that's kind of ha what I'm thinking right now, is they kind of nerfed my, uh, my favorite gun again. Uh, the gun, I'm oh yeah, the MTAR, duh. Um, yeah, but they, they buffed that, and then they, I think they, I forget what I was using. I think they nerfed the Bison, and then they buffed it again, and then they nerfed it again. But, um, they nerfed the Bison, and that was what I was using a lot, and that just, like really pissed me off. So now I've basically just stopped playing or then I basically just stopped playing Ghosts. Now um, I'm at the point where I'm almost wanting to stop playing Advanced Warfare because they nerfed the bow and they buffed everything. They buffed the EM-1, the most overpowered gun in the game. It was even more overpowered than the uh, than the what's it called? The bow. If you had listened to what I said at the beginning of the game I said they don't need to nerf the bow, they need to buff the other weapons. Besides the EM-1. I, I said that in one of my videos. I didn't say besides the EM-1, but I said they don't need to nerf the bow, they need to buff the other weapons. Because um, I think the bow, how it was, was good. It was fine. And I think that it was just all the other guns sucked. Um, besides the AK-12, the AK-12 is pretty good. Uh, it's not as good anymore. I don't, I don't know if they touched that or not, or if it's just something in my head. Or if I'm just getting rough lobbies or something, but it's not. Uh, neither of the guns are as good as they were. I haven't used the bow, actually. I've been using the ASM1, which I do like. Don't get me wrong. Um, I have the e ASM1 Rigger, which uh, I'm looking at it right now. That's why I'm touching my controller. It does plus two range or plus two accuracy? Sorry for minus two handling. Um, and I have. Let's see. 228 kills with the ASM-1, and I'm bringing my KD up with it and stuff like that, so. Uh, but, like, if you guys look at my stats, it's 30, it, I have 3,715 kills with the BAL, 1,268 with the KF-5, 627 with the AK-12. Those are my top three guns. They nerfed the BAL, seems like they nerfed the AK-12, and the KF-5 is really good now. Uh, the ARX is my next highest, I don't know how I barely use that. Um... ASM-1 is my 6th highest. Yeah, 6th highest. Um, I don't know how they... How I used the ARX so much, apparently. Um, but anyway, like, I just feel like... They kind of are ruining their own game. Especially since they didn't do anything to system hacks. Besides, they, they put that big white flash. Before, it was just your screen would shake or whatever. They need to change the bombing run thing like because I'll be standing in a solid building at the back corner of the building and like for example on uh, Detroit I'll be standing back school in the back of the school like with my back against the back wall that ends the map and the bombing run will land in the middle of the map and kill me it's so overpowered um, and that's also the animation that shakes your whole screen um, they need to fix the grenade thing, because I hate that you can't aim down sights after you get grenaded. I, I haven't been naded since the update, so they might have fixed that, but... Um, they also need to fix that if a friendly's grenade goes off near you, goes off halfway across the map, it shakes your whole screen. 
At least that's what it seems like to me. Um, and they really need to take off that big white flash at the beginning of the system hacks. Um, they like they really need to touch the score streaks and grenades and expl like score streaks and explosives because it's getting ridiculous uh, right now. And it's almost making me want to stop playing the game because it doesn't seem like they're really caring what we have to say. Um, now you may you guys may not agree with me, um, but that's just my opinion. And I feel like um, I feel like they're turning into Infinity Ward. Like in the beginning of Ghost, Infinity Ward listened to us, then they stopped listening to us. Um, and now they they listened to us in the beginning. Now they're not really listening to us. So um, I might tr like try tweeting at Michael Condry just my opinions uh, or Sledgehammer Games just like my opinions, and I might even tweet this video at them, just saying what I think. Because um, I know they don't really like. I know one person's opinions won't change their minds, but if they get the same opinions from a lot of people, then yeah it probably will help make them fix it. So, um, comment down below what you guys think needs to be fixed for Advanced Warfare uh, that'll make you keep playing it. Um, and, yeah. So, that's my opinions on it. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. I went 21-10 and 10, or 21-9 and 9 or something like that in this gameplay. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.